Yo, what is going on guys? Lottery Socks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I wanted to make a quick video on this important interview that Gary Gensler was in. So without further ado, I'm going to play the clip for you and then let's talk a little bit about it. All I ask you to do while you watch the clip is just tap that like button, hit that subscribe button, and even drop a few comments while you are watching the clip if you feel like you want to do so. Uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal recently calling on the SEC to quote unquote suit up. She wants you to we're really. Already suited <laughs> we're, we're already suited up. We're already suited up. She wants you to crack down on crypto using your existing authority. My question is, do you feel? Have you that ever met Gubir Graywall, who runs our division of enforcement? We're suited up. <laughs> so just to stop the video real quick, in case you guys want to know who this guy is, this is the director of the SEC's Division of Enforcement, who was recently an attorney general for the state of New Jersey, and prior to that served as a county prosecutor. Let's get back into the clip. Okay, here's my question though, Chair. Do you feel you have enough authority or do you feel that you need legislation for more authority from Congress? Uh, I feel that we have enough authority. I really do in this space. Could we use greater resources, appropriations? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Could we use maybe a little more extraterritorial reach overseas? Yes. But I also think it's important not to do any harm. We have a hundred trillion dollar capital markets. It's not a small number. Even our stock markets, approximately 35 or 40 trillion of that. But the whole treasury market, all the pieces of our market, we can't undermine that. As much attention as your viewers have on this crypto market, worldwide it's about 800-ish billion. Mm -hmm. We don't know the exact number in the U.S., but far smaller than that 800 billion. We can't undermine all that helps drive this economy, that helps protect investors, to allow uh, uh, folks to raise money in the public, uh, ultimately. We can't undermine any of that. To your point, uh, Chair Ginsler, a new commission meeting was announced for next Wednesday on uh, making changes to equity market structure. What can we expect uh, next Wednesday? Well, we're going to take up uh, uh, four recommendations from the staff uh, around the equity market. This, this is a really important piece of, of our uh, capital markets and it's important to investors and the retail public uh, certainly has paid a lot of attention to this market. There's a growth in the market. It's about driving greater competition, transparency and efficiency in the marketplace. And we have a marketplace today that depending upon the day uh, between a third and a half is not uh, in what's called the lit markets but is in the dark venues, dark pools, or just being purchased by wholesalers. So it's trying to consider recommendations to better level the playing field between these venues, the dark markets and the lit markets, get more competition, particularly in the retail orders, the retail marketable orders. Uh, we'll be considering uh, uh, how to ensure that your broker dealers, the public's broker dealers, truly gives you uh, uh, and get, gets best execution when you send in those orders uh, and more transparency in the space. We have last updated our equity market rules in t 2005. There was a lot of good work under my predecessor around data and what's called the infrastructure rule, but in terms of looking at the whole market. And so uh, think about your iPhone. Mm -hmm from 17 years ago. You didn't have an iPhone 17 say. years ago, yeah. right? We, yeah. we didn't have, a lot's changed in 17 years. Chair Gensler, I wanna thank you so much for all of your insight. We are watching this space very closely and hope to speak with you again soon as we monitor crypto. Thank you, Jennifer. That's Chair Gensler, Gary Gensler, Chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, and we'll be right back. So the quick breakdown is that Gary Gensler, coming up, I believe, on December 14th, is going to listen to four recommendations from staff regarding the equity market. This is one of the most important pieces to what they've been trying to work on. He also claims that retail pays a ton of attention to this, so he does see us tweeting at him. He does see us not happy with the way markets are working. So keep that in mind. That's something I definitely paid attention to as I was watching this. And the goal for this is to drive greater competition, transparency, and efficiency in the stock market. 
And depending on the day, Gary Gensler states, depending on the day, one third or one half is not in lit markets of retail orders. He says that they are in dark venues. Examples he gives are dark pools or wholesalers. He says that we need more competition with retail's marketable orders. And the goal is to get public brokers best order execution with more transparency. He also states that since 2005, this has not been updated so there's definitely issues with the system. Bringing that up, do you guys remember the lawsuit on naked shorting? The curious incident of shares that didn't exist. This article came out March 28th of 2005, and this is an absolutely great read. I went over it in another video, so I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'm gonna leave it linked down below. And it's just interesting that he brought up this has not been updated since 2005. So hopefully this does affect the amount of synthetic shares that are able to be created in the market. Also, just another positive signal from this is that Virtu and Citadel, as well as other brokers that accept payment for order flow, say that the stock market's current rules work well for small investors and that they are just not happy with what Gary Gensler is doing in general. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. But on your way out, there's a link pinned in the top of comments and link in the description for you to download Moomoo on your phone or your computer. All you have to do is open an account and deposit at least a dollar to get up to 20 free stocks and a chance to win $60,000 before Christmas time. So this is a limited offer. Make sure to go do that. So on your way out, guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, it's free and it does help me out a ton. I love you all. Lottery Stocks out.